I remember when Saints Row, the reboot, first released and everyone was talking about it. Everyone was saying how bad it was and the game didn't do too well and the game went on discount pretty fast and they just kind of gave up on the game and just, it was basically uh, just a bad game. That's what everyone was saying when it first released. It was a bad game. Don't play this game. Don't get this game. It's a bad game. Saints Row, bad game. So... I didn't really, I mean, I heard all those things. I watched like one video. I never watched anyone play it and I never really paid much attention to it because to be honest, I'm not a huge Saints Row fan, so I never really paid much attention to it. But recently I got Saints Row because it went on, actually it was part of a bundle, I'm pretty sure. It was part of a humble bundle and I ended up getting it in that bundle and I decided to give it a try. And yes, I know the Humble Bundle for Saints Row was from March, and I'm just now getting to it, but that's that's what I do, okay? I get these I get these games, but I don't redeem them right away, um, or sometimes I do and they just kind of sit in my library, but I like to redeem them as I'm going to play them, so I get the key, I redeem the game, and then I play it, like I'm, I'm going to play it, and then I get through that game, and then maybe I'll redeem another game, that's usually how I do it, but it took me a while to get to this game, to be honest, because even when I got the game, and, and I installed it I really didn't even want to click launch on it so that's why it took so long so I pretty much was going to play this game go through the whole game and then make my make an entire video on it through the you know describing not really describing but reviewing and going through the entire game beginning to end and I gotta say I just I just couldn't do that it was just a bad experience right off the start because as before I even got into the game I was navigating the menus so I wasn't even recording yet I wasn't doing I was literally just trying to change the settings before I got into the game and not only was that difficult because they don't let you change the settings before you the game starts but then when the game started I tried to change the settings for some reason, when I tried to go to 4K, it would just mess up. Now, I'm not entirely blaming the game on that one because it has happened in a few other games, but it's just not a good experience when you first start playing the game that you can't even get it to display properly, which then makes you not want to even play the game because it won't display properly. But eventually, it did end up working. But then, moving on past that problem, it still didn't go well because then the game's audio throughout the entire time I was playing it, and yes, I did restart the game multiple times thinking maybe that would fix it, but it never did. The audio was random. It was like sometimes it was behind, sometimes it was ahead, sometimes it would all play at once. I'm, I mean, I'm not even sure what was happening sometimes. In fact, I'm just going to show you some clips of exactly what was happening. We make the world a better place. I said you're coming with me. Perhaps I then don't respect, respect your authority. You said one foot on those stairs. Uh, I can tell you love <laughs> okay. it. I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. <laughs> I'm in. So I'm guessing that means yeah, the pay's good. To be. Dude, what yeah, I played it on my bonus today. on the job, and uh, well, my CEO wasn't You've a fan. You've got to be kidding me. Are we going to make we'll last time right we got to be a little bit more time. This is really, really not a big deal. To take we just badge. knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. And if, if you thought that was painful, that was literally the entire time while I was playing it, and I restarted the game like five times. So, in the five times I restarted the game, that never fixed. So, if I was going to play through the whole game, all of the cutscenes, all of the dialogue would end up being like that. And on that one, too, I'm not, I'm not really sure... If that was entirely the game's fault or something else, but it seemed no matter how many times I restarted the game, that would always happen. And it only happens in this game. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what was going on there. And I kept pushing through thinking I would just skip the cutscenes in the dialogue and just 
pretty much all the story components and just focus on the gameplay because maybe the gameplay is the the fun part of the game and that's not that's wrong too that's not true the gameplay is not the fun part of the game neither is this the story but the gameplay is is just bad driving doesn't feel good the driving in the game is just bad the cars just they all feel terrible to drive especially the driving segments where you're being chased and stuff the cars just they always catch up to you no matter how fast you're going you always feel like you're going slow on top of that and the spawns of the enemies they just spawn pretty much right next to you and then they just speed up to you so they spawn within your sight and then they just speed up and they're always, no matter how fast you're going, they're going just as fast and they'll stay next to you the whole time, no matter how fast you're going. And you can't even go, it doesn't seem like you go that fast either. So it always feels slow. And the shooting in this game is just as bad, probably worse actually. The shooting in this game is probably worse. It's just, it's terrible. It Shooting in this game is not fun. There's hardly any feedback. It's not crispy. It's not crunchy. The sounds just the sound effects are not there the feedback isn't there the effects are not there and it just doesn't feel good to shoot things i didn't like the movement either it just felt everything also in this game just felt kind of stiff and just slow to me just the driving felt slow the movement felt slow it felt stiff shooting in this game it just none of it felt good not a single part of this game felt good not the driving the moving the shooting none of it and now that I think about it, I recently played the Jumanji video game, or Jumanji the video game as it's titled, and it kind of felt like this game. Now that I think about it, it kind of even has the same, the same style of this game. It just, it just feels like a generic third person shooter. So even with the game not having a fantastic start, I mean... I, I kind of even had to force myself to play through the beginning of the game because I was already starting to get bored and that's like the worst thing a game can do if you're playing a game and you're bored it's already failed its first purpose it's it, one of the main reasons you play a video game is to have fun so if you're not having fun while playing a video game it's failing its purpose but I progressed I got further into the game and i say further because i really didn't get that far but i got further into the game to like the second mission once i passed the intro mission i finally got to the second mission and guess what happened the game glitched and i couldn't progress any further because the mission was I, at first I thought I was doing something wrong but then no it was just glitched and the mission just wouldn't start or when it progressed, it started, and I got to the location it told me to, but it just wouldn't progress. It was like it was frozen. So not only was the game not really that fun and I still tried to play it anyway, but the missions just wouldn't work for me. I had to restart the mission. Some, sometimes I had to purposely try to fail the missions so that they would restart so that they could have a chance of working again. So I had to fail the mission multiple times to get the mission to work in the first place. Very weird thing. Never had to do that before in a game, but... That's what I had to do for this game, for the missions, because they just seem to break. So in other words, I had tried giving this game a chance, even though a lot of people have been saying that it's a bad game and it doesn't have very good reviews, but I tried to give it a chance anyway. Uh, part of me wishes I didn't, and this is what it got me. I tried to give it a chance, and everything in the game pretty much failed. I mean, the audio didn't even play when it was supposed to. That's how bad my experience with this game was crime boss rocket day city that's that's what it's called uh, that game has some audio issues i'm not even sure if it's on purpose or not i kind of think it is on purpose but sometimes the dialogue just doesn't match up 
to when the person is talking and then when it does just the dialogue is just not it's not great the like chuck norris he put no effort into delivering those voice lines but that's a whole different video for a whole different day so i ended up playing this game for a total of 68 minutes yeah that's right just barely an hour is how long i played it and there was all those problems and i will probably never go back to this game and it is it is a bad game so if you've never played it yourself and you're still wondering hey is this is this game any better or is this game as bad as they try to make it out to be the answer is yes yes it is Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below, tell me what you guys think about the Saints Row game and this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because you want to be subscribed. And I'll see you next time.